Why do men complain less? Why do they complain less in general? Even to unhealthy extents when they keep quiet about wrongs committed against them other issues. Don't get me wrong. I'm a bi man and I usually date men because it's easier for me. Additionally I'm sure women face more widespread issues daily but I'm speaking from literal men in my surroundings that do nothing. The other day, a friend of mine was cheated on by his girlfriend. He broke up and told us he broke up but nothing else. I found out through someone else and verified. I've been shoved with a vendetta on public transport but never by a man and for some reason. Even I barely complain I've never fallen down thankfully but still skipped a step. I feel like these things may may not translate to bigger issues like domestic violence and lead to a massive chunk of issues being ignored. Also just because problems of men are being highlighted. I'm not taking away or diminishing the problems of women saying this because when I brought it up randomly with no prevailing issue women face being in discussion I've been accused which are still obviously more frequent and prevalent. P.S. I'm asking this because I was molested as a kid and when I finally told my closest friends they shortly forgot about it. After the third time. I just gave up because these are the women who spend 80 of their free time with me. PPS just want to say I don't understand this line between stoic and quiet and expressive and clear. I think it's quite manly to clearly say what you're thinking. As it is because you've got the balls to? Because nobody fucking cares. Anything you say can be used against you. Because nobody cares. Nobody will help when you do. And more often than not you are ridiculed for complaining or told to just man up. What good is that gonna do? Complain to whom? Men generally don't complain. Because early on they learn that no one cares. For me it was as early as elementary school. Went to the teacher to complain about a girl who was bullying me. Teacher didn't care and did nothing. Well one day she slapped me for no reason. Just hauled off and slapped me. So I punched her in the face and then got suspended and almost expelled. Despite the letting the teacher know. Once I learned that they don't care. I realized I had to figure it out on my own. I am sure other guys have experienced something similar very early on in life. After the second or third suck it up and deal with it I realized I was never going to get a different. Answer. We depend on ourselves from a young age a lot. Nobody is coming to save you as a man. If you're not willing to get off your ass and work, you will die alone or end up homeless. We have to be accountable for our shortcomings as men. Women on the other side can sometimes be saved. We don't have that luxury. Because everything you say can and will be held against you. So go fish for ammo elsewhere. Your lady friends have overflowing stockpiles. Additionally I'm sure women face more widespread issues daily. That's the answer to your question. It's meaningless to complain about anything if everybody downplays your issues and just drops a. But what about women? You are part of the problem. Because society doesn't care about our problems. We are told to man up and deal with it ourselves. When we do actually tell people they lose respect for us. It doesn't fix our problems and we are stuck doing the emotional labor of consoling someone about. Our problems when we are the ones that need help. Because it's unattractive. Men are expected to walk it off or fix it themselves. Because complaining never solves anything. Just makes shit seem worse. And no one really cares anyway. Not to mention. Many of us were raised to be self-reliant and to be a rock that can weather all storms. No matter how bad I think I might have it. People have dealt with a lot worse than me. I try to keep perspective and not piss and moan feeling sorry for myself. No one gives a shit. A man is alone with his problems.
because 910 nobody actually gives a fuck about Amon's emotional mental state. So, we have just learned to deal with shit. Take a breath and carry on. It's a sad reality. But why do you think men's suicide rates are so high? There's no other outlet or escape. And for some men, they just can't deal with it anymore. So their out escape is death. Few reasons. 1. Nobody cares if you complain because nobody would likely help you anyway. 2. Complaining rarely does any good. It's just better to handle your problems yourself if they're solvable. 3. Airing your grievances can be used against you no matter how much you trust somebody. 4. Our issues are usually downplayed as minor issues so again. No point in complaining because the common response we get is suck it up or figure it out. Yourself. 5. Did I mention nobody cares? I think men realize that complaining contributes nothing and will usually not solve a problem. One thing I noticed from working in a female-dominated industry is that women seem to bond over complaining to one another. What does complaining get you? What does it change? Nothing. You're weak if you do but also an abusive asshole if you stuff it down long enough to blow up about it. You have to handle it from both ends. Rather than just a one-dimensional just handle your emotions in a non-destructive way. You're better off being weak than someone's source of trauma obviously. But making self-deprecating jokes and laughing about it is far superior to both. Lol they don't in my experience with the two I live with. They never shut up when they're upset about something. Nobody gives a fuck and when they do there's usually an ulterior motive. BC no one cares, barring a few close people in your life. We're taught to keep it all inside so it slowly festers until it becomes mental illness. IDK if that's true. I complain like a motherfucker. In fact if you removed complaining from my personality. I'm not sure I would even exist it's who I am. It's what I'm about. My only saving grace is that I turn it into a joke for those around me and it ends up being a source of laughter. And when I complain to employees. I do very tactfully and usually end up getting shit for free. I have worked a lot of customer jobs. So I know how to talk to them. I've tried complaining. I've tried complaining to my mayor. The city council. To the state legislature. On the streets. On rooftops. On front lawns. Nobody listens. The problems don't get fixed. Most people don't care. And the world spins on. Because it also doesn't care. To complain is to seek validation for a grievance. If you expect yourself to be taken seriously by others, you don't need to seek validation. Culturally, we have a lot of problems with taking women seriously. So women are more likely to feel they need their grievances validated. Ironically, you may only be noticing the complaints of people you take less seriously. Because no one listens. Complaining is a sign of weakness implied everyone ever. No one gives a shit. Women's issues are more frequent and prevalent? I think you answered your own question without even realizing it. We don't complain often. Because no one will care. Nobody cares. I remember a news article headline a couple years ago that said 20% of suicides are women. And this is a problem. Like, the other 80% ostensibly men aren't? Because at some point when we were young we were mocked, chastised, threatened, or outright hit by the people that raised us and taught us. We learned that not only would speaking about our pain, or circumstances, not make a difference, but it would actually make us a target for more abuse, or the victim of later mockery, or and this might be the most insidious. It would lead to others no longer trusting and respecting us. It is what it is. Because man up. That's why. When you get burned every time you expose your soft underbelly. You learn to not expose it. 